you. You look pretty wonderful yourself. Thanks. Listen, if you look that good in the national contest, you are a shoe. Yeah, you two look beautiful yourselves. You want to see it at the bar or at the table? Yeah, I think a table. Okay, so follow me, please. Yeah. So what about the cooking and sewing? Oh, oh, hey, listen, I got a great idea for your hair, dude, since it's going to be on national television. Start, there's something wrong with Pine Valley Man. Oh, you just noticed him. Well, I'm not complaining, though, because now it leaves me with two gorgeous blondes all to myself. Oh, you were so good for a girl's ego. Why don't you uh, join us? Sure, let me just get a chair. Can I have a chair, please? So, are you planning some kind of a Christmas blowout down to the Glamorama? You should play the pun? No, no. <laughs> nothing big, but we'll do something. How about you? Oh, I guess Julie and I will just go out to lunch. Uh, you don't happen to have gift certificates down there, do you? I should mention that. I just ordered some. They should be in next week. It would be a great gift idea, massage or facial. Or an entire day of beauty. How much for the whole day of beauty? $150. Ooh. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. You've got to hear what you get for all that. Okay. You get a manicure, pedicure, massage, facial, shampoo, and haircut. Plus, you get a special Glamorama waist cinchers luncheon. I'll be down there myself. You've got at least <laughs> one, so... Now, aren't you glad we came outside? Mm -hmm. Did you see that? What? Trevor just ignored me. Matt, I thought that's what you wanted. Well, I do. Yeah, but... Well, he did, you know, help me out recently, and I am grateful to him. I heard about that. The, the, the guy that stole your purse showed up at the hospital. Yes, he did. Trevor showed up at the Martins for Thanksgiving, and I wasn't very nice. Well, all right. If you really feel like you got to make it up to him, looks like he's all alone. Yeah, we may have to. Well, you two have certainly become a pair around town. Oh, Jackson, when women get divorced, it seems like they need their friends more than ever. Men aren't like that, are they? I wouldn't have any idea. Never get married, never get divorced. That's my mom. <clears throat> Natalie. Been standing there long? Fascinating menu, isn't it? Sit down, take a load off. Oh, went away with words. Are you here alone? No, Donna is here. Oh, yeah, Donna with the legal beagle. All right, Trevor, I owe you an apology. For what, doll? For what? Uh, for being less than kind at the Martins at Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, forget it. I had a great time, in spite of you. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, I just want you to know that I am grateful for what you've done. I, I, I No problema. It. I was glad to be of service. You're not a bad cop. But no Tom Selleck, right? <laughs> Look, at the risk of uh, embarrassing myself totally, would you care to have a drink with me? No, I don't think so. I really don't. Fine, I understand. Excuse totally me, perfect. I think a glass of white wine would be lovely. Nico, would you get the lady a glass of white wine and I'll uh, have another one of these? Uh, I think mostly it's a myth. I think men would rather spend their time with women than other men. Uh, any particular woman? Hopefully, sometimes, though, I guess we are not too choosy. You're pretty choosy when it comes to marriage, I notice. And I notice this conversation is becoming a little serious. So what do you say when the music starts? You and I have a little dance for ourselves. Oh, sure. I'd love it. <laughs> oh, come on, Jeremy. Just one more. It'll be fun. Oh, he's here. Right upstairs. I'm going to put you to bed. Come on. Looks like things are progressing there. Excuse me? Did you hear what Jeremy said to his new girlfriend? Scary is not his girlfriend. <laughs> Even if you weren't one of my concern, I don't care. I'm gonna take you down to the police station and give you a lie detector test. Excuse me. 